high tier layout which is Rahul's place uh, so Rahul is living here Good morning everyone, this is Feb 6th, 2022, so I'm starting my Manipur trip today, so I am going to airport, right now it's uh, almost 4am in the morning, so I have flight at 8, so probably I'll reach in, in an hour, so Rahul will drop me in and they both will go to Nandi Hills, so yeah, so that's the plan, hopefully everything goes well, I have done all the RT-PCR done, uh, check and also taken the web check-in okay so i have an excess of uh, five kgs where i took uh, uh, online um, uh, payment for that i'll just go through it and you can save some few bucks something around four four five hundred rupees you can save just go through that i'll go through that uh, uh, how what are things to do so then let's go to the airport bye first you go to internet and search for indigo online baggage purchase and then you can see pre-book access baggage option here from go indigo click on it yeah ignore this. this is on my mac yeah and then you can find access baggage option here about the offer uh, you can um, add this to cart so just to see the rates here for baggage domestic you can see for 3 kg it's 1200 for 5 kg it's 2000 and if you see here on the side you can see at the airport per kg it's 500 so imagine for 500 it's around 1500 for 3 kgs so that you can save 300 rupees over here so i literally did a 5 kg prepaid payment for 2000 rupees and it's like you add this to cart and then probably uh, you get an option to uh, add it to your booking So since my booking has already done, I mean uh, my flight is already flown, option is not there. So here you can add your uh, PNR number and your uh, uh, last name to uh, just to confirm your account and then probably get added to your account. And probably you can purchase it through um, all the um, payment gateway. So this is how you can save up to 20% on um, prepaid excess baggage online. So let's go back to the journey. Bye. Bye. The check-in is done and also uh, security check is also complete. So I had a uh, excess baggage of 2 kgs. So what I did is I just talked to the executive or uh, the person who was taking my check-in baggage luggage. So I just told her that uh, can I just wave off that 2 kg if possible. So then she said okay for that. So for now we will wave that off uh, for you. So you can uh, sometimes ask to wave up extra baggages and no need to pay for that. If you are willing to pay, you will just pay for it. So you can just talk to them whether they can wave off and uh, probably you will get a, uh, you can save some money as well. It's all about how you talk and how you handle it. So that's done. So uh, about carrying drone, what I did is, or what generally uh, in India is, uh, you have to carry the batteries in separate, you have to carry it in, along with your hand baggage, batteries and the charger and also uh, the main machine, right, the main drone machine should be in the checked in baggage, okay, and along with the propellers and other uh, extra fittings, it should be, it should be in the uh, main checked in baggage and the other batteries, everything should be in your uh, uh, carry or uh, your the one bag that you are carrying in. So that's the way to carry drone for now as of uh, Feb 6, 2022. The drone uh, laws may change, it may change in the next month or maybe to today or tomorrow it might change. So as of today that's the uh, way to carry domestic uh, drones uh, in a flight uh, while you are flying domestically or within India. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I think I, I, I'm almost uh, uh, it's almost time boarding has started for my flight so hopefully it's after a long time after two years uh, again flying and going to a destination and probably uh, being in there so i feel like i'm doing it for the first time again so yeah looking forward for it uh, hopefully uh, i'll have a great uh, month at manipur and many more days uh, in the northeast probably 
and probably my friends will also join that's what the plan is i don't know how it will all work out but yeah i'll i'll be mostly in there uh, for a few uh, months in northeast and export races let's see So after arriving in Assam, Guwahati, there is one more uh, security check happening here. So even if you are boarding from another uh, transit flight, you have to undergo the security check. So after that only you can board the next flight. So uh, I have kept only two hours as a uh, layover. Right now it's going going to be the uh, open time or the uh, check-in time. Three eight four. Yes, uh, I, I got. I'm getting my call. So basically, it's very tight. So in Assam or in Guwahati, just plan accordingly. Uh, having more than two hours of or two to three hours of uh, layover in between, because it will be very tough tough for you to uh, commute because it's a very small uh, airport and the facilities are very less and it's crowded as well. So it's better you take more than two or three hours of uh, layover here. So I'm gonna quickly finish my. breakfast and then probably um get into the uh, check in up basically check into uh, the flight okay so see you there so hopefully i will reach uh, manipur in one or two hours and we'll see how manipur treats me over there as soon as the flight take off from the guwahati airport uh, you start seeing uh, the mighty brahmaputra Uh, which makes a feeling that you are really into that place or you have really reached uh, the northeast of india and uh, and especially when you pass through this cloud and this view right really make a lot of sense to me that uh, yeah i am literally traveling back again i am i mean that uh, try to travel again and this view and this um, amazing uh, cloud um, bed literally gave me goosebumps that moment and as as soon as you be in the flight in 40 minutes you'll reach uh, imphal or manipur and then you witness this uh, amazing aerial tour of loktak which literally pulls you into this location or uh, literally pulls you into where you are going or where your destination is so each each stage should have uh, if possible should have a tour of uh, uh, their wonder or th- that particular place maybe uh, around on taj mahal or something like that would really attract um tourism a lot but this really gave an ideal perspective of uh, the entire uh, loktak and the rings that i'm going to soon visit um was just incredible and that feeling right when you touch down uh, at manipur or the destination that you want to spend time for a long while is something awesome and then you just feel the uh, air or feel the freshness outside and understanding that it's it's a reality and you are just traveling again was just wonderful they will check the your rt pcr uh, test report uh, which is before uh, 48 hours that you have to show when you uh, when you pitch into the airport there there is a table and there are four five people checking the reports and your id card and then probably then you go and get your baggage and then while coming out there is a check post over there and then from there you will get the ilp signed by the officer so this is only for 15 days so after that i need to reapply and get it from some other place that you can get it in private places i'll update about that as well so that is an important thing while you come to any northeast um, states uh, that you need to uh, come prepared or you can apply from here directly as well not a problem and you have to pay 100 rupees for that I'll uh, let you know the links to apply for uh, ILP. So now I have arrived here. It's now around uh, two one two p.m. So it's around seven kilometers from uh, airport to where where I stay basically. So that's uh, near to Ima Ketal or basically the heart of Imphal. So now I have to see uh, um, any public transport or maybe taxis to get to the. Uh, stay so probably i'll start now itself uh, 
so it's around 2 pm and it's been a good journey and yeah a bit tired because i've not been in in proper sleep for past uh, one week so yeah let's see you um, the place i'll stop this video once i reach the place and then just show you around and uh, later on we'll have a uh, more videos coming up uh, in Imphal or Manipur series. Uh, so that's all about uh, reaching up to uh, Imphal airport. Uh, so let's see. And I'm looking forward for the place where I'm staying and looking to meet new people. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>